So what's the secret to a long lasting, fulfilling marriage? I'm glad you asked. I'll tell you now. Hey, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that may be new here, I'm Artisha T. Balding, also known as Coach T, the Mindset Midwife. Listen, I want you to get all of the goodies that are here on the Heal Girl YouTube channel. So make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get the latest and greatest. Also, share this with a friend. So I get this question all the time. What's the secret to success in marriage? How do you make it? How can you be sure that you'll stick in there, but that it'll also be fulfilling? Well, that's a loaded question if I ever heard one. Um, and I don't want to be long with you today. So I'm just going to give you a few golden nuggets. What really changed things for Mr. Bolding and myself. And I'm, I'll be honest, we've been married for 13 years. They were not all good years by far. If you've heard any of my story, if you've read The Patient is Wearing Lipstick, then you know things got really rough for a period of time. But we're still here, still rocking and rolling. And honestly, still in love, still love to see each other into a room. The only way that we can do that, y'all, I'm going to be honest, is through the power of the Holy Ghost. It is completely unnatural. In fact, it's supernatural because God made man social creatures. Man is not meant to be alone. And believe it or not, we even those who may say they're introverted, we're more social than not. We also have that fight or flight mechanism. So when things get tough, it's easy for us to shut down or what? Run the other way. So marriage inherently goes against most of your natural instincts. So you need God to come in. He has to be invited in to put his super on your natural in order for this thing to work long term. And the language that I have now that I want to share with you that has been powerful life-changing, game-changing, what flipped the script for Mr. Bolding and I is that we are still allowing ourselves to be interdependent. Dependence won't work because you'll essentially have two single people rolling roommate style just with a paper at the courthouse, just with the same address, maybe even sleeping in the same bed, but you'll essentially have two single people, single-minded doing what they want to. So dependence doesn't work. Codependence gets kind of crazy because there's always going to be one person really feeding so much off of the other, which can be draining, which leads to bitterness, which leads to, I really don't want to go home. The key is interdependence. Both of you individually learning who you are in God, going after that, and then aligning your values, your process, your projects, and your passions interdependently. Babe, how can I help you? Babe, what you got going on? Talk to me about it. How can I help? Who can I call? Do you need me to read over something? Hey, I have some money that I might was thinking about using for fun. Can I invest that in your project? Okay, that interdependency, coming together to do household chores, responsibilities, pets, children, all of the above. Interdependency, that hand in glove, that's what saved Mr. Bolding and I. So listen, make sure you like this video. Get in the comment box. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to hear more about. And I hope to see you again real soon. Hello.